yeah hello everyone welcome to the channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how you can connect your domain to a free hosting which is going to be on the cloudflare as you can see this is the domain i'm going to be working on this is my blogger website and this is the domain name here just copy it like this copy that and then go to the domain service you're using in my case right now i'm using hogo host so on my domain service here i'm gonna go over to i'm gonna try to look for my name server you can locate your name server on whatsoever platform you're using and then all you, after you've done that go to google and search for cloudflare and I'll, I'll be dropping the link in the description where you can just click and go directly to Cloudflare, create your account or sign in. So you're going to land on the uh, cloudflare.com. All you should do right now is just to sign up or if you have an account already and an existing account, go ahead and just log in. Once you've signed in, it's going to land you on this page and all you need to do right now is to add your site, which is your domain. You will go ahead and just click on here that says add a site at the top here or just blue bar here. Once you uh, clicked on that, it's going to take some time to load. So you have to give it some time to load up. In my case right now, I'll go back to Google Host, which is my, which is where I bought my uh, domain. All we need this Google Host or our um, domain uh, service. We're going to actually go and change the name server. So we'll be using the name server that I'll show you from Cloudflare. You can see now this is the custom name server for us to link our domain to the free hosting or paid hosting. We need to edit the name server. That's going to be the default, but stick with me on this video i'll show you how to edit it so all you have to do right now is just to impute uh, your domain name which is going to be your website make sure you click on a paid service or a free service but for the purpose of this video right now i'll focus on the free um plan which is zero dollar and you can see the core features here you can see the, uh, the the core features of the free accounts is probably good for let's say a regular website or you can consider paying if you want to avail more expensive um features so right now we have to go back to our hugo host account and edit the name server one and name server two choose a plan on cloudflare and from here, replace the name server with the one on Cloudflare. All you need to do right now is just to come here, copy name server one, or you can go ahead and click to copy. Copy this and go back to who go host, or you can go to whichsoever uh, so websites you bought your domain. It could be GoDaddy or whatever. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and replace the name server. Copy name server to copy it. Please do not interchange these name servers. For some reasons, do not interchange them. Go back to our Hugo hosts and just replace name server to. After you've done that, go ahead and click on change name server. This would be a little bit challenging if you are not using Google Host, but uh, you can actually figure it out because it's not so much complicated. So right now, after we've done this, all we need to do is to wait for Google Host to actually uh, verify this. Once we've done pasting in there and it's successfully, successfully changed on the website we bought our domain, go to Cloudflare and then click check name servers when you click on check name server it's gonna um it could take up to 24 hours to fill in this whole process and after you after 
this whole thing is done, you will be receiving an email. Give it from an hour to 24 hours. But in a few hours, uh, based on my experience, after one hour or so, you would actually get your verification email. You can see this is what the verification email would look like show you that the status is actually active this mail came from cloudflare and we know now that our domain has been successfully integrated to cloudflare actually the hosting service and come back here to cloudflare go to ssl slash tls and this is actually for security of the websites you could turn it off and it's going to be 100% not secured. You could also leave it on flexible. Here it's going to encrypt the traffic between the browsers and Cloudflare. So I would usually recommend putting it on full strict. And this is the best uh, secure option for our website. And this one, you have to go ahead and turn this on the SSL slash TLS recommender. And that's everything for this section. Go down right now, check the hatching. And from here, go over to configuration. Scroll all the way down. Make sure this crawler is hint is turned on. Crawler hint should be turned on. It's going to come in handy in the future. And for those of you that actually have a paid plan, you could actually go ahead to turn on always online. And you can read, pause the video to read the benefits of this. Just in case you have a paid plan, this would be a very good option to turn on. But on this free plan right now, we can't turn it on. Okay, so after we've uh, put all this configuration in settings, just give it a few hours to 24 hours and you will come to receive this email showing you that it's now active and right now you know we have done everything correctly okay we can actually uh tend to end this video right now because this is basically everything you should know and if you have any uh problem along the way you can just go ahead and check on the description down below send us an email and we could actually help you out if that's what you want i and my team would help you with website creation and stuff like that okay i'm going to actually end this video right now don't forget to subscribe if this video was helpful peace out